previously on Pokemon Fire Red. I bought some repels at the Pewter City Mart. We got the Helix Fossil at Mountain Moon. We wa managed to get out of Mountain Moon. And we arrived in Cerulean City. We saved the game at Cerulean City Pokemon Center. Alright guys, uh, win here with part 4 of Fire Red. So today we are going to complete the northern route um, above Cerulean City. I believe it is Route 24 and 25. Last time, yeah, you saw, you saw the previously thing. Um, we got through Mountain Moon and that stuff of some sort. So now we can head north. And there's a cop here. We'll be uh, getting him out of the way later. But before, let's head north, as I said like three times, but as we head north, we see CCMP LOL, so he's, he wants to fight us again. So, in this rival battle, he has four Pokemon. Uh, first, he has a level 17 Pidgeotto, which he evolved from this Pidgey, as we fought in, I think it was episode 2, not exactly sure. But anyways, I shall leech seed this Pidgeotto and make life easier while he tries to make my life harder uh, by leech seeding me. But hopefully this battle won't take very long, unlike the first time, uh, or the, sorry, the second time we fought each other, when that, uh, when it took like four minutes to beat him. But now that he has four Pokemon, it, that doesn't mean stuff is going to be easier. So I'm going to let some of the leech seed do the work. And then I'm gonna hopefully get lucky and hit the sleep powder, but of course not. Alright, so now he's gonna start gusting, which doesn't phase me too much because I have the leech seed going on, but you know, there's always the chance of Pidgeotto getting that critical hit, which might end up screwing me over, but hopefully I'll get the critical hit. Yes, I do. I totally called it because um, Razor Leaf has a high critical hit ratio and Ivysaur grows to level 23 and has some really nice going stats. Next, uh, our rival decides to send in Charmander. Um, if you started off with Squirtle, he'll send in Bulbasaur and if you started off with uh, Charmander, he'll send in Squirtle. But they will all be level 18, so that is the good part. So Charmander decides to go Ember me, which does a decent chunk of damage, a lot more than I thought thought it would do actually because uh needle ran was pretty bulky but of course i have to get the burn uh if you guys didn't know burn reduces your attack by i think it was 0.5 uh, uh was it i'm not sure but anyways uh i'll switch back to ivy sword because um well my needle arena burned and that did a lot and if that burned me that would have been pretty bad and so I hit Charmander with the Razor Leaf and it almost goes down. And this Charmander is actually doing work on me and holy crap. That did a lot. Alright. Whoa. Alright guys, this Charmander, um, if you're using a team like me, this Charmander is definitely something you want to look out for. So next, uh, our uh, rival, sorry, CCMP LOL decides to send in an Abra. Abra is a useless Pokemon. That can only use teleport. Well, if that's the only move you can learn through leveling up, but you could teach it other moves, I think. Um, but once Abra evolves into Kadabra and then into Alakazam, which is which uh, is its final form, it does some really heavy duty stuff. Alakazam is a total killer, and that thing that Red Tatter just killed me. Right, that's not good. Um. Hopefully quick attack doesn't kill me. Please don't kill me. Yes! Ivysaur survives like a boss and we win the battle. Alright, as I was saying, um, when it becomes an, it, a Alakazam, it just completely kills. It has a um, really, really high special attack. One of the highest special attack in this, uh, in this game, actually. 
So, yeah, we'll be fighting that Alex Zam later, and trust me, that will not be easy. So then, uh, once we beat him, he leaves, but then he decides to come back. So he says, I feel sorry for you. No, really, you're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. And he gives a fame checker to us. Um, the fame checker is basically gossip about stuff, and it's in our key item section. Pretty much useless. So I will go heal and see you guys in a sec. Alright, guys, I'm back. And we are ready to officially head where we want to be going. And that is um right here on the Nugget Bridge on Route 24. So this is the Nugget Bridge. Um, as its name states, if there's it's Nugget Bridge. So if you win, you get um. Well, like he just said, if you beat these five trainers, we will win a prize, and that prize is a nugget. Uh, what a nugget is is that it could be sold for five thousand Poké dollars. 5,000 is actually a lot, and as you, add, if you've been following my Fire Red Let's Play, which not many of you have, but um, I recommend you guys watch it, I mean, or you are watching it in this case, I recommend you go spread the word, tell people about my awesome commentary, but no need, um, I recommend you go tell everybody, spread the joy, and uh, expand my channel, hopefully. So yeah, so if you've been following me, you obviously know that I like to blow my money. Uh, last episode, I blew my money on repels, and the episode before that, episode 2, I think it was 2, yeah, it was 2, um, I blew my money on Pokeballs. So, yeah, you should obviously know that I like to spend money. In real life, I, um money sort of i like to save money more than i spend because i actually have a secret stash of money that i've been saving ever since i was born and i have about eight hundred dollars in there cash so now we are trying to learn poison sting at level 18 i think and i think i'll get rid of leer or fo yeah focus energy what poison sting does is all it does is it has a chance of poisoning the opponent uh but it's a pretty worthless move so we defeat the first trainer on the nugget bridge and we can head on so as I was saying um uh, I I have a ton of money in there I have at least two hundred dollars worth of quarters yeah I have a ton of quarters this is not even funny um, guys and the rest are like twenty dollar bills I think I might have one hundred dollar bill inside but I'm not sure Cause um I've been making a lot of money recently. Cause um I sold my iPod Touch second generation. I sold that for actually a ton of money. I sold that for if I remember correctly, I think it was a hundred thirty-five dollars. Um I got to keep that money. Uh, no, my parents didn't take it. And um I also got to keep an another wad of money uh, from what should I call it? Uh. I got a Christmas gift from uh, my aunt, actually. It was a Kindle. No one in my family reads. Absolutely no one. Uh, my brother doesn't read. He's uh, he's older than me, but no, he doesn't read. All he does is watch TV all the time, so yeah. No one reads. My parents don't read. My mom, uh, my mom, I don't know what she does. She likes swimming a lot, so she does that all the time. My dad just sits around TV. If you, hear, if you could hear in the background, he's watching TV as I upload. I wish he doesn't, cause um that kind of interrupts. But whatever. Um, I hope you guys don't mind. Next time, I'll definitely tell him to stop. And yeah, so that's basically my family. My reading, my reading hating family. Haters gonna hate, and that's what my families do against reading. So I sold my Kindle. Um, and I got, I think it was. Uh, I think it was also 130 something for that. I got to keep it since it was my present, and I decided to sell it. I should give. I think I gave 20 to my dad for selling it, but whatever. That's not the case. I I got ton of money. All right, so Nido Reno just leveled up, and that's cool. So next he sends in Ekans. Uh, I'll keep Ivysaur in actually. So yeah, that's a little family story. Hate reading. Um, today I actually don't. I I didn't feel like uploading today but it's kind of like an uploader's thing like a youtuber's thing once you start uploading it's like it's like crack all right you can't stop once you start so 
after when I first um if you didn't know I this is a co-op let's play with um with oh my god I can't remember his name right off the bat I'll, I'll have his link in the description oh oh my gosh I can't think laser Luigi yeah this is a co-op Le playthrough, let's play thing, walkthrough with Laser Luigi. So, um, he wants me to upload every single day. He said it wasn't mandatory, but still it's recommended since I think he uploads every day. Uh, so yeah, I, I said, yeah, I'll go with it and I'll upload every day. But I've been so caught up in schoolwork today. I came home today. I usually come home around, uh, 5 ish, 5 30. Because, uh, school ends at around 2.30, but, um, I don't get picked up until 5, or no, not 5, sorry, um, 4, 4 something, I don't know, but there's usually tons of traffic, and it takes us, like, freaking hour to get home, even though we live, like, right by the school, so yeah, I've been so caught up in schoolwork, and, uh, I try to upload as much as I can now, uh, hope, hopefully daily, but it's not a guarantee. So yeah, and now that I'm uploading, like uh, right when I, when I started uploading, I was like, uh, why, why, why laser? So, but now I'm like, huh, uploading isn't that bad of a thing. I mean, uh, I could get used to this, and yeah. So yeah, that's all I have to say. I I have no idea what to talk about next, but um, I have to, I have to finish uploading kind of quickly I'll try to make this 20 minute episode it might end up being around the 18 19 minute mark but close enough um because I have to write this essay that's due tomorrow I also have a um, language arts homework uh so yeah that's not good and I think this guy's the final trainer yet yeah, number five so the guy up ahead should give us the prize so we are going to fake face camper Ethan, but he doesn't camp in Call of Duty because that sucks. Um. So yeah, if camping in any first-person shooters or just any shooting game at all sucks, because um, if you didn't know, there's this computer game. It's like a computerized version of Call of Duty. Well, it's not too much like Call of Duty, but come on, it's computerized. And it's called Be Gone. Um, I might leave a link in the description. I'm not sure. I mean, if you guys really are interested, then probably will. But, you know, whatever. Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. You won a fabulous prize. So I received Nugget from the Mysterious Trainer. So, um, by the way, how would you like to join Team Rocket? That was the organization we fought in the last episode. Um, episode three. So we're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. What? Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. So this guy is a part of Team Rocket. And he wants us to join. But even if we lose to this guy, we won't join because we're goody two-shoe heroes. So, yeah, we're just pro like that. Alright, so this Team Rocket guy has Ekans. I'm going to go with Ivystar on this one. Because I hate Ekans. I just absolutely hate Ekans. Um, so yeah, I hate that rap attack, especially. Um, what I would like to talk about next, actually, has to do with, actually, um, the game. I mean, you might, you guys might think what I'm about to talk about is really random. But, um, if you, if you haven't noticed, um, I did, I'm doing something that most LPers do, well, I'm not doing something, I should say. I'm not doing something most LPers do in any Pokemon walkthrough. Usually what normal LPers would do, I would say, is that they would nickname their Pokemon. But I don't, because um, I would like to save up until I have my, f I have my full team assembled. And then I'm going to do this special episode um, about nicknaming. I'm going to have um, you guys comment like crazy. Hopefully you guys will comment a lot. I want you guys to comment about what what nicknames you would like to have each Pokemon. Uh, then I'm going to have... Once I have my full team of six, I'm going to let you guys... Um, I'm going to go to the nickname Raider, which we haven't met yet. We'll meet later in the game. 
I'm gonna go to him and ask, and I'm gonna change. I'm gonna give every single Pokemon nicknames. But if uh, I, if I haven't assembled my team yet, oh shoot, I'm killing myself. But whatever. So bef before before I have my team assembled, I won't nickname it. That comes afterwards. And trust me, guys, um, my team will kind of be late in the game. I'll assemble my whole team when, um, after how many gym bands, what do you think? I think I'll have my whole team after the fifth gym leader. Yeah, the fifth one. Which is... Oh, I... At the pace we're going with this LP, the Arena just died, crap. Um, at the pace we're going with this LP, I think we're going actually pretty fast. Um, cause I'm trying to keep up with the laser. He... He's, um... He finished this route in his episode 4. His episode 4 um, took 26 minutes. We're only at the 15 minute mark. We finished route 24 already. So yeah, this is um, this is route 24. If we move over here, it's actually route 25. So before I would like to move on, I would like to collect this item. So we found TM45 for a track. And I'd like to go heal up again, so I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright guys, I'm back and I'm uh, going ultra speed, as you can see, so yeah, let's get the show on the road. Um, I just said roll, whatever, but if we head over here, there's, oh crap, there's a trainer. I saw your feet from the grass, that is very interesting. So, these guys are Tata, Bambi, you're dead, Nidorino, there's level 20, right, cool, Ekin, send in Ivysaur for this. And we are just going to speed stuff up. So as you saw in that grass patch over there, there yeah, there was a grass patch. Um, obviously, if you know me, of course, I'm gonna catch some Pokemans in that grass patch. I'm, I'm not gonna use any Pokemon in that grass patch, no, but I'm gonna go catch them, so I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright guys, I'm back, I caught three Pokemon, I caught an Oddish, level 14, um, very cool, and I caught a Abra. Usually what Abras do is that they escape before you could attack them, but I actually outsped the Abra. And then I put it to sleep with my Ivysaur, because my Ivysaur is such a boss. And yeah, so next we can fight this guy, Franklin. He has a Machop. Machop is a fighting type that eventually evolves into Machamp. Machamp is actually really powerful, but it can only be accessed through trade. I want to see if there's any Pokemon in this grass patch too, so I'll be right back. Alright, there was only one new Pokemon in that. That was a Weedle. We could have found that earlier, but I didn't find one in uh, Verdian Forest, surprisingly. I have no idea how, please do not ask me. So yeah, that was that Onyx right there, and we defeat this guy, so we'll head over here, fight this guy. Tata, Razor Leaf, everything. Face, and Spearow. Um. Alright, uh, one more thing I, would t uh, I forgot to say earlier was that I also caught another Pokemon in uh, the Grass Passage at Route 24. And that Pokemon was Kakuna, Evolution of Weedle. So right here is a Slowpoke, it is a Psychic. Um... Psychic Water type, as its name states, it is a Slowpoke. It could either evolve into Slowking or Slowbro. Uh, Slowbro can, is a Kanto type, uh, is part of the Kanto region, but Slowking is actually part of the Johto region, so it can't be accessed um, uh, until after the Elite Four is beaten. Uh, I explained that in the last episode how Johto Pokemon can only be accessed through beating the Elite Four and heading to the uh the Sevi Islands which we'll be doing later and the after game but we could st actually start the Sevi Islands in the uh before the elite before the eighth gym actually or we could just save it all for later but what I like to do is I like to um do the Sevi Islands thing first so before the eighth gym we'll be doing uh how many three of the seven islands so yeah and I'm just doing the same pattern with Ekans the whole time just leech seed razor leaf and tackle so there's an item here I think it's TM40 something for secret powder yeah secret power sorry and that guy is moving super fast huh alright there's a berry here um once we find our first berry we could actually we automatically get a berry pouch um what berries do is that they have a positive effects on your Pokemon. Some have negative, but that's really rare that it occurs with negative. 
I think there's one here. Yep, Petra. If you see those dark spots, then there's, you know, there's a berry there. But some dark spots don't have them. So yeah, um, that orange berry pick I picked up. Um, what the orange berry? I don't remember what it does actually. Orange, 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 orange berry. Um, it heals 10 HP. Yeah, uh, it heals 10 HP when your Pokemon is damaged to a certain degree. I don't know what degree it is, but whatever. And last train on the route. Yay. Oddish. Die. Hopefully. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Come on, Nito Reno. We could do better than that, can we? Yes, we can, Nito Reno. Poison sting you in the face. Oh, really, Nito Reno? Come on, we could. Nito Reno, you disappoint me. Kill it. Oh, again. We're not. Come on, Nito Reno. Whatever. All right, I'll get out of super speed, and then we'll go inside this house. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm out of super speed and we'll check Sea Cottage. Bill lives here. So let's head inside. But I don't see any Bill. Where's Bill? Hmm. I only see this Clefairy Pokemon. So let's talk to it. Hiya, I'm not a I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue maniac. Pokemaniac, sorry. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up with an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here? Alright, sure. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. So basically, he goes inside. He tra uh, if we press the button, we he transports to that side, and then he'll come out as a normal person. So let's do that. So click. Since the MP wind initiated the teleporter cell separator, I don't get why it, it's a teleporter, but whatever. So yep, he teleported. Oh well, yeah, I guess that's why it's called the teleporter. And here comes a normal bill. So if you don't talk to him and leave, you're kind of an idiot because you have to talk to this guy to progress in the game. So let's go. Yeehaw. Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? Oh, that's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, here. Maybe this will do. CCMP win received an SS ticket from Bill. So what an SS ticket is... um is there's this big boat in the third gym city big cruise ship in the third gym city it's called the SS Anne or Annie or whatever and there's a ton of trainers on it we'll fight our rival there again and we have to go on that boat to progress in the game as I said before because that boat hides an item that we need to go further as I've said a ton of times now we are back in Cerulean City the cop has moved and what the heck did I see there Team Rocket guy what the? Um, okay, Team Rocket guy, I have no idea what you're doing there, but whatever. So, in the next episode, we shall be heading inside the Cerulean City Gym, hopefully getting to the third gym city, and, uh, see what's up with that grunt there. So, guys, be sure to comment, rate, subscribe. Um, I have... Laser Luigi's channel link in the description below, and I'll have his Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough part 4 in the description below as well. And guys, uh, be sure to watch more of my videos, and yeah, be sure to peace out and stuff like that. I'm not very good at uh, endings or concluding, so yeah, this is CCMP Win here signing out. Bye bye, everyone.